The Lone Bellow self-titled debut from 2013 was a real standout for me. While labeled as country music, I found this album to transcend that label. It was Americana, yes, but it was also wonderfully ethereal, too. It was quietly contemplative, but it was a very loud quietly contemplative. For the follow-up produced by the Nationals' Aaron Dressner and Then Came the Morning, the group has gone for less instrumentation, going only for the bare minimum of what they felt would be needed to tour with, but you'd hardly notice the loss. Starting with the opening, soulful title track, it's as if the group has loudly and joyously woken up from all of that contemplativeness from their debut album, and it sets the mood for the rest of this album perfectly. And Then Came the Morning is a more straightforward, more driving set of songs than its more ethereal predecessor. Track four, the booming Take My Love, is one of the best songs that U2 hasn't and should have recorded. Track six, Watch Over Us, is a wonderful folk gospel prayer song that anyone from any religious background, including an anti-organized religious type like myself, will not only be able to relate to, but even more so, just feel it as if it was written for you and for you alone. The band also truly lets themselves rock out on the just barely over two and a half minute country-tinged rocker, Heaven Don't Call Me Home. Its follow-up, track nine, If You Don't Love Me, is a more mid-tempo rocker, but still a good rocker nonetheless. But I do hope that the band will give us more of pedal to the metal barn burners like Heaven Don't Call Me Home. They do this really well. The album closes with an old school lonesome Hank Williams influenced ballad, I Let You Go. Clocking in at 42 minutes, the album keeps its songwriting tight. The majority of its track keep themselves at around or under the three and a half minute mark, with two of its tracks under three minutes and even one under two minutes. Only two tracks crack past the four minute mark. Their debut album was one of the most remarkable albums of 2013 for me. And in hindsight, it's easy for me to give it four and a half stars out of five. But I wasn't doing first reaction reviews at that time. On first reaction, then came the morning, teeters between three and a half to four stars. But that could change. I know I will be listening to this album more as time passes, and it will be interesting to see how it sits with me in the months to come. Please remember to show your support for all the craftspeople who made this music possible by purchasing it on legal music stores and by streaming it on legal music sites. Musicians, recording engineers, songwriters, and craftspeople in general have just as much right to earn a living as you do. For Music Worth Buying, this is TJR. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.